Silver the Hedgehog and occurring characters, plots, games, soundtracks, art, images, and universes belong to their respective owners. Contents in this video are considered under fair use under US copyright law and used for criticism, parody, or satire. Be sure to check out the original videos and theories presented by the Sega Scourge and Gamer Guy 7 Aces. Videos and channel links will be in the description. Recently, on July 10th, two YouTubers, the Sega Scourge and Gamer Guy Aces, have attempted to answer the theory of who could be Silver the Hedgehog's relatives or ancestors. Throughout both theories, including their debates, the candidates for considerations were Amy Rose, Sonic the Hedgehog, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Blaze the Cat, due to their powers, appearances, references to real life genetics, and inheritances. However, the theory discussed between the Sega Scourge and Gamer Guy Aces have failed to touch very much upon other factors, such as the ones from the Archie Sonic comics universe instead of just only the Sega universe. Another error which they encountered was that they attempted to use real life genetics for their theory in order to explain the ancestry or relations between Sonic the Hedgehog characters and Silver the Hedgehog. It may apply to real life, but it sure as hell does not apply to the Sega or Archie universe. After doing some personal investigation and general observances of patterns from both the Sega and Archie universes, I have come to the conclusion that the initiators, or prime contributors for Sega's ancestry and family tree, fall under two categories. His ancestry must always consist of one male hedgehog, whilst the female could be of anyone from any species from both past and present, and I am here to explain why. So before we begin, viewers should take note that Sega doesn't specify a general term for Sonic and the rest of the species in their universe in one collective term, so we will refer to them as Mobians like Archie Comics originally did. That is before Ken Penders happened. To clear up initial confusion, we can first confirm that Mobians from the Sega universe do reproduce in some way, as evident by the existence of Cream and her mother Vanilla. That is, unless she was adopted and Sega hasn't told us, which so far they have not. Another evidence to confirm that Mobians can indeed reproduce is Knack the Weasel, or Fang the Sniper, or whatever people call him. Cream the Rabbit and Knack the Weasel will be the most important key in bridging this theory between universes and give us clarity into the lack of information or ambiguity in Mobian relations, reproduction, and ancestry which Sega chooses not to disclose for whatever reason. So let's begin. To begin, we have to first go very deep into how Mobian biology works, how they reproduce, physical and biological traits and possibilities which encompasses it. Let us begin with Shadow the Hedgehog as he is noted to being the first possible candidate of Silver's ancestral family tree in the original theory. Based on backstory of his creation, visual observances and logical reasoning, I conclude that Shadow the Hedgehog cannot be part of the initiator of Silver's family line if due to one sole reason. He most likely cannot reproduce, and here is why. Regarding his background and creation, Shadow is an artificial and synthetic life form created in a lab, not just as a living being or creature, but sole primary purpose of being a living, breathing weapon of war. His creation is to serve the same purpose as James Cameron's Terminators, basically. Shadow is not initially recognised as a living being, but more of a tool or an experiment to an end. We also know that he is immortal and cannot age, thus the need for his capa to capacity to reproduce may not likely have been a consideration or factor biologically in his creation or function thereafter by Joe Robotnik. In this case, I doubt he could possibly under any circumstances be part of Silver's biological ancestral family tree. A robot arm created to manufacture cars, for example, is designed to do one job and not reproduce. Isn't that the same with Shadow the Hedgehog's original purpose? This is of course just a theory based off of observances, reason and logic and could be untrue. It is more of an absence of evidence rather than evidence for absence, but either way, we don't really get to see anything visible dangling between the legs of Mobians in either of the Archie or Sega universes for obvious reasons, for us to be sure. The inability to reproduce will indeed throw a spanner in the works of Shadow being part of Silver's ancestral family tree, at least for now. But let us take a look at the Archie Comics universe. Viewers must take note that Sega and Archie Comics have been through a lawsuit with ex-writer Ken Penders, forcing the entire comics universe to undergo a reboot and retcon. So almost everything to be discussed may lo no longer apply to the new universe. I prefer the Archie Comics universe as Silver the Hedgehog over Sega's Silver as it gives us more information and characters to work with rather than limiting us to just a few possible characters in the Sega universe, at least in my own eyes. So, so let us begin. In the Archie universe, it is known that hedgehogs are a common Mobian species, and so we will be able to broaden our options on possible candidates. Excluding Shadow and Silver for obvious reasons, we open up to more male hedgehogs as possible candidates. For this theory, hedgehogs could include Robbo the Hedge of Mercia, Scourge the Hedgehog, Manic Acorn, and of course Sonic the Hedgehog himself as possible candidates. Not only that, the advent of Archie's spin-off series, Sonic Universe and Mobius 25 and 30 years later, also confirms that Mobius and their species can not only reproduce, but also interbreed naturally. Another amazing thing I was able to discover is that Mobian reproduction is not random or up to chance like real-life humans do, but has a distinguished and established pattern. 
From the evidence given from said comic arcs and issues, we can see a pattern from offsprings between two separate species and same species. Let us begin with our first example. Say, a pure-blooded hedgehog such as Sonic and a half-blooded chipmunk such as Sally Acorn, so name fans, please don't kill me, would almost always result in twins, where the born female is forced to take the species of the mother, whilst the born male takes the species of the father 95% of the time. We can see this as consistent through other characters such as Tails and Minamongus' kids and even Vector's son Argyle. Tails' kids, Melody and Skyprower, also fit this pattern. The male offspring inherits the species of the father whilst the female inherits the species of the mother, but never both at the same time. Want more evidence? Take Sally Acorn again and her brother Elias. Although they appear very similar in appearance, the only thing which gives their species away is the shape of their tails. Sally Acorn has a short stubby tail of a chipmunk whilst Elias has a longer bushy tail of a squirrel. This is because Sally and Elias' mother is a chipmunk whilst her father is a squirrel. The theory of Mobian reproduction is again still consistent, with Sally taking the species of her mother due to her being female, whilst Elias takes the species of her father. Want more evidence? Take, an take Antoine and Bunny's kids, also born twins mind you, are also consistent with my theory. Belle, the female, takes the species of the mother, Bunny, who is a rabbit, whilst Jacques takes the gender of the father, Antoine, who is a coyote. For Argyle's case, we cannot tell whether his mum was a cro crocodile like Vector or even a whole different species due to the fact his mother is never shown. But since Argyle was born both a male and takes the species of his father, this biological theory of interspecies breeding still remains consistent. If Argyle was in fact born as a pure-blooded crocodile with both his parents being crocodiles, we will leave him a 50-50 chance of being a female or male, unlike the 95% chance of being born a male or female, depending on the species of the different parents. In the Archie universe, the other pure-blooded Mobian would be Knuckles' daughter, Lara Sue, who was pure-bred echidna with her mother, Julie Sue, also being an echidna. Even with pure-blooded species, we can also see a distinguishable pattern. Both Sonic, Tails and Knuckles were born from parents who were both the same species and born as single children, while Sally and Elias, on the other hand, were born from mixed species parents who resulted in twins, as predicted. In this case, Vector's son Ardrill would be a single child if he was born a pure-blooded crocodile, and if not, we would expect him to have a twin sister, right? Let us take a look at this time back to the Sega universe. Who were Sonic, Tails and Knuckles' parents? Short answer is, we either don't know or Sega won't tell us. But we know absolutely for sure who their parents are in the Archie universe, and all three are born from pure-blooded parents with no relatives. Does the Mobian biology theory still stand? Answer is, yes. Now, Knack the Weasel from Archie Encyclopedia notes that he is a wolf-weasel hybrid. If my theory of Mobian reproduction is consistent, I can confidently say that Knack's father was a weasel while his mother was a wolf, in this sense. But I managed to find an inconsistency with Knack in the Archie comics as he also has a twin sister, Nick the Weasel, who defies my Mobian biology theory by being born as a weasel like Knack himself instead of a wolf as expected. But Knack does not have a twin sister in the Sega universe however, so the theory may still hold up to consistency, so in this case we're not 100% sure whether the theory still holds up. In this case, we may have to take Sega's word for it that Knack is truly a wolf weasel born of a single child. Another thing regarding the Sega Scourge and Gamer Guy Ace's original theory is that power is indeed confirmed inheritable, but only in the Arch universe and not in the Sega universe. Both Tails' and Sonic's children in the future inherit each of their powers, such as Sonic's super speed and Sky's ability to fly. Melody Power, whom is Tails' daughter in the future, is a strange case, where she inherits a super speed power from her mother, Mina, the thing which is peculiar is that Mina was not born with a power of super speed like Sonic did, but was in fact given to her unnaturally by Mammoth Mogul, who sort of this godlike immortal being. Short story on how she got her powers? A deal with the devil, so to speak. So it appears that artificial powers are also inheritable. This supports the Sega Scourge and Game Guy Ace's theory of not only power inheritance, but also makes it possibly traceable. But this is where the, their line ends. Power inheritance is only visible and confirmed in the Archie Comics universe, but not in the Sega universe. At least not confirmed as of yet. For the Sega universe, we are given nearly no evidence of power inheritance, which throws the Sega Scourge and Game Guy East's theory of power inheritance as a traceable lead right out the window. However, they are not entirely wrong if we reference them to the Archie universe. Since Cream the Rabbit and Knack the Weasel are our only lead in connection for both Archie and Sega universes, we will heavily base our theories on them for now. It does not appear whether Cream inherited a flying ability from her mother, as we never saw her mother Vanilla flying with both her ears before, only Cream. In the Archie universe, the only pure-blooded Mobian would be Knuckles' daughter, Lara Sue, who was a pure-bred echidna with her mother, Julie Sue, also being an echidna. In both Light, Light and Dark Mobius, we can see that she inherits her power of chaos control from her father. 
supporting the power inheritance possibility put forward by the Sega Scourge and Game of Guy Aces. But what power, if any, does Knack inherit? Skills of a sharpshooter, as it says on the Mobius Encyclopedia. Due to the fact Knack is barely touched upon or his information updated by Sega themselves, this information may not be a reliable indicator. But why are Cream the Rabbit and Knack the Weasel so significant? Why are they key to this theory? Well, firstly, at least for Sega's universe, we know for certain that Mobians can reproduce. Not only that, but the species reproduction inheritance theory may also apply to the Sega universe. Both Cream and her mother are rabbits with the same fur coloration, so we know for sure that Vanilla truly is Cream's biological mother, and not adopted, unless Sega says otherwise. The only thing peculiar, like Vector Sun Argel in the Archie universe, is that the other spouse is missing. Due to his absence, we will never know whether Cream's father was indeed a rabbit like her, and her mother, or an entirely different species. Unless if Cream took a different species which is not her mother's, we will know for sure cross-species breeding is possible, or vice versa, in the Sega universe. So far, this is not enough official evidence in the Sega universe to support this. This leads us to Knack the Weasel. In his official character profile at Sega.com it reads, quote, Fang the Sniper, aka Knack the Weasel, this slick wolf weasel who has only one thing in mind, Chaos Emeralds. He doesn't want to rule the world or anything like that, but he knows the price glittering jewels will bring a pretty hefty price from the right bidder. Emphasis on the word, Wolf Weasel. Even in the Mobius Encyclopedia, the Arch Universe, he is also confirmed officially as a Wolf Weasel hybrid too. However, due to the fact he is a very old character who no longer makes any new appearances, we do not know whether this information is up to date. Regardless, we now have evidence that interspecies breeding is possible both in the Arch Universe and the Seg Universe, which broadens our options of candidates as to who may be the starting point of Silver's family tree, which is, at this point, well, anyone. So let us narrow down our theoretical verdicts. Number 1. Shadow the Hedgehog cannot reproduce. Number 2. Mobian interspecies breeding is possible in both universes. Our options are broadened. Number 3. Power inheritance in some form or another is indeed possible for the Archer universe, but not confirmed for the Sega universe. Number 4. When interspecies breeding happens, twins always result, with the male taking the species of the father, whilst the female takes the species of the mother, but never both at the same time. Number 5. Pure-blooded offsprings can take the gender of either parent and are born a single child. Number 6. To begin Silver's family tree, one of the relatives or ancestors must most likely have been a hedgehog at any given time. Number 7. The mother or female side of the family, however, does not require the presence of a hedgehog and therefore could be any species. In conclusion, since we're putting Silver all the way forward some 300 plus years, then Silver could have ancestral relatives not just from hedgehogs, but possibly from a whole cluster of different Mobian species, ranging from possibly reptiles to birds and some other species in between. It could possibly mean either up to him or his close parent relatives that either A. Every relative in Silver's family tree leading up to him are both hedgehogs, or B. The on only the male side of the family is always a hedgehog, whilst the female side could be of any species other than a hedgehog. So far, there is only one male hedgehog in existence in the Sega universe, who is, natural, who is both natural born and theoretically may reproduce naturally, excluding Shadow the Hedgehog or Mephiles the Dark. And the evidence so far leaves us with... Drumroll please! Sonic the Hedgehog is a prime candidate for either the contributor or beginning of Silver's family tree. So far. This is until Sega decides to introduce other male ca hedgehog characters into the light. But who is a female spouse, you may ask? Well, for some Amy shippers, sorry to say that the female could be anyone, not limited to Amy Rose in this case, if the theory of Mobian biology and reproduction stands consistent. That is all for now. Agree with this theory? Disagree with this theory? Confused? Interested? Be sure to check out the original video and theory presented by the Sega Scourge and Gamma Guy 7 Aces. Video links and channel links will be in the description. Have a nice day!